Wednesday night for dinner and I'm having tuna pasta. This is a homemade recipe. I think I've got it up on the cook with me's and I will link it down below if I do. I think I have. I usually do this as a pasta bake but Ali actually wanted hot dog pasta instead of tuna pasta. So I made the two sauces separately for the tuna and for the hot dog pasta and then I just mixed them all together and eliminated the oven baking part just put cheese on top. This is six sins worth of the 50% reduced fat cheddar. And I've not got any speed on the side but I do have onions and tomatoes in the pasta. And Mark's here tonight for dinner and he's having the hot dog pasta with Ali, that's his. And that's Ali's. The sauce that I made is just a regular pasta tomato sauce and I just added hot dog to theirs and tuna to mine. Nice and simple. Thursday night for dinner and I'm having a chicken salad. The chicken is the barbecue sliced chicken from Tesco. It's one sin for the whole pack. I've not got the whole pack on there. And on the bottom of that I've got spinach, watercress and rocket. Then I've got peppers, tomatoes, cucumber, beetroot and I've got a couple of pickled eggs on the side and a few potatoes. And Ali's having a meat feast pizza tonight because that's what he wanted. Saturday night for dinner and we're having baked potatoes. I'm just having the fat free cottage cheese on mine so my potatoes completely sin free. And I've got my nieces Paige and Skylar Rose staying tonight, so they're having baked potatoes as well. They're both having beans and cheese. And Ali's having two baked potatoes and beans and cheese. And I've made a big salad bowl for all of us to share, just so everybody can help their cell. And there's watercress and rocket at the bottom. There's tomatoes, cucumber, peppers and spring onion. And there's also a little bowl of beetroot which I've not yet put on the table. Say hello. Hello. That's Paige. And this is Skylar Rose. Hello. <laughs> Sunday night for dinner and we're having a sin free keema curry made using beef mince. Keema curry is usually made using lamb mince but because of the whole 5% fat thing I'm using beef mince. You can find the recipe online for this. There's loads of different recipes. I have added some extra mixed veg in with mine just because I didn't really have enough peas and I just wanted more veg in there. And we're having that with rice. So that's mine. And that's Ali's. He's having the exact same as me tonight. Tuesday night for dinner and we're having the zingy basil chicken which is a recipe I found on the Two Chubby Cubs site and I'm having that with rice which we already had last night I didn't think this through properly but that's what we're having with it and we're having some raw peppers and some cucumber with it as well for the speed so that's mine and Ali's having the exact same as me tonight Tuesday night for dinner and we're having McDonald's breakfast style muffins well they're not even muffins so on this let me see if I can show you I have one of the pork and herb patties from Tesco which are two and a half cents and then I've topped it with a fried egg and one slice of the light dairy leaf cheese slices which is two cents so that's four and a half cents altogether plus half a cents worth of tomato ketchup so five cents for that and I've got some homemade Slim and World chips and some garlic mushrooms on the side for speed. And I'm using one of these Warburton's wholemeal thins for my healthy extra B option. So that's mine. Mark's here tonight, so him and Ali are having bagels. But Ali actually ate a bagel one night for his supper a couple of nights ago. So he's got one bagel and one of the wholemeal thins. And he's not got any eggs on his because he doesn't like fried eggs. But other than that, they're both exactly the same as mine. Okay. 